What is up everybody? It is beautiful Tuesday morning. Partly cloudy day. Just about oh, 76 degrees. Sporting my new blue hairdo here. Um, anyway, my project for today. These doors right here. These are the closet doors that is in what is now my office. Now these baffles I hate those things. I cannot stand those things because they're pain in the ass to clean. Sorry, my thumb's in the way. Pain in the ass to clean. But anyway, <clears throat> I usually do this about once every four years. Last time I cleaned these was probably about four years ago. Um, I'm going to show you the way I do it. Real simple. Not very painstaking at all. The reason I'm going to clean them now is because I am going to paint them. I'm going to paint them white, like the door and all that. But I'm going to throw these out on the driveway and then get you set up here and I'll show you how I do it. Alright guys, as you can see I got these laid out on the driveway here out in the sun. What I'm going to do, an easy way to clean these things is I'm just going to take my hose and spray them inside all those baffles. Because those things are a pain in the ass to clean. And any, anybody that has them knows that. They are a pain in the ass to clean. But they are a little bit dusty. You probably can't tell from that far away. But I'm just going to spray them down. And I know you're thinking, why are you spraying water on wood doors? It's not going to make a difference. The water's not going to be on there that long. And I'll show you why. But for right now, I'm going to spray these down, get all the dust off of these things. And then I'll show you how I dry them really quick. Now, they're all rinsed off, all the dust and everything is off of them. Now, you're saying it's, it's wood, it's water, you shouldn't be doing that. Number one, I got the Florida sun with me, which is behind a cloud right now, but that's besides the point. Next, I'm going to use these things. If you don't have one of these, these come in handy for a lot of things, drying off your cars, everything. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start this up, and I'm just going to blow the water off of it. This water is not going to be on here for longer than 10 minutes total. It'll be completely dry by the time I'm done. I'm going to set them aside and I'll probably paint them coming up here in a few days or so. But right now, let me get this started here. Hopefully, it'll start. One pole, look at that. Alright, now I'm just going to uh, blow this off and get all the water off. guys it is all clean you can just see the water blowing off of it really really simple now whatever little water is left on there the sun is out right now won't take but 15 minutes to dry that little bit off I'll fold them up put them in the garage and they'll be ready to paint whenever I get around to doing that so that's how I clean those doors and if you got those bifold leaving lever lever whatever they call those slats things in your doors and they're a pain in the ass to clean if you got a blower and a hose bring them out put them on your driveway spray them off blow them off they'll be dry your wood's not going to warp nothing's going to happen to them i guarantee you nothing's going to happen to them you get the water off right away that's it guys later like i said guys Full transparency, no privacy. Another door comes off. Good afternoon, guys. It is Saturday morning. A beautiful, non-windy, for a change, day here in Central Florida. Now, I just took off that door off of my office. That's the one that's on my office. I'm going to paint it. It is this green color here. I'm not going to paint it today, though, because here's why. Top of this door here, it's got a hole, I don't know if you can see that, it's not showing up very good on the camera, but anyway, there's a hole right there, I need to patch that up, I need to fill that in, 
there we go I need to fill that in and the easiest way to do it without doing a whole bunch of major major work to it is just take some silicone caulk that's all I'm gonna do I'm just gonna jam it cut this I'm gonna jam it in there fill that up till it gets nice and full and then once it dries I will just lightly sand it down to make it flush with the door and then once you paint over it you're never never even going to hardly see it I mean you will see it if you look for it but you won't really see it so let me I think I'm just going to use a small tripod here on the camera and I'm just going to do it that way so let me get you set up and I'll show you how to do it all right guys well my cock was no good so what I'm going to do here my backup still cock just not in the, the caulking tube so here's what we're going to do. We're just going to fill this up here. Best that we can. Going to get a whole bunch in there. Make sure it's seated in there good. Get down in there. Basically. Now this is one way to do it. You can also do it with like that great foam stuff which I don't have any, that's why I'm doing it this way. It'll still work. Right, there we go. You can see it's got a nice little bubble on it right now. And basically what we're going to do, um, what I'm going to do once that dries, is just take like a little piece of sandpaper or even like a, a razor blade or a knife and then just cut it. Just cut it nice and... Uh, Nice and flat and even, best I can get it even, and then you paint it, and unless you point it out to somebody, nobody will probably even see it. So, that's that for today. Later. Good afternoon, everybody. It is another beautiful 87 degree day, a little bit cloudy, a little bit windy. Today, I'm going to clean up my palms again. That one, I'm also going to do that one there. Trim them up a little bit. It is middle of March. Usually that's the time of year that it gets done, middle of March, end of February, March. So I'm going to do that today because tomorrow is yard waste. And I'm going to get it out. I'll show you when I'm done. I'm not going to show you the thing because I've showed you the time lapse on those before. But I'll show you when it's done later. Alrighty, guys. <clears throat> There we go. All trimmed up. Probably be good on those big ones there for, well, if it's anything like last year, it'll only be like six months. Normally I do that once a year, about March, end of February, March. That's when you're supposed to trim them. But anyway, those are done. I'm gonna go have a huge bottle of water, maybe some Gatorade. Sit down, relax. I might sand this door. I got, I got to sand that down a little bit more because I put, if you remember, I put the caulk in it a little while ago. I pressed that in, and then I put some wood filler on top of it. Just need to sand that down, which I might do later this afternoon. I don't know. Let's see how far. It... Does that look better like that, guys? Or does it look better like this? Like I always do it. I think it might look better like that a little bit wider perspective anyway might send that down this afternoon so i can maybe start painting them tomorrow but we'll see what happens later guys all right guys so i did end up sanding that down looks pretty even and flush i think once i get the paint on it you won't even be able to see it i will show you after i paint it i'm probably going to paint it tomorrow maybe depending on the wind and everything because i got to do it outside so, and all right, this, it looks like this door was white and then blue and then this green teal color or whatever the hell that color is. But anyway, that is done. I just degreased it, cleaned it up real good with the degreaser and the cleaner and going to let it dry overnight. And then, like I said, hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to paint that and I'll be able to paint those. That's my plan anyway, so we'll see how it pans out. See ya. Well, there you go. 
I did the back side of the door and both sides of the closet door there and I probably got just enough paint to do the front side of this uh, bedroom door here. I did order new uh, brackets, new handles. I got the handles today. I should get the brackets tomorrow. Paint the back side of this door tomorrow and then probably hang it on Friday. So that's why I stand right now. They're sitting outside drying. It is windy out. There's a little bit of a pain in the ass again because it's windy again today. It doesn't look like much but when you're trying to paint it actually is. So that's what I did today. I'm going to sit down, chug a big bottle of water, and relax. Alright guys, so if you watch my video about cleaning the caps, there they are. It's been two days. They are dry. They are in the shape of a baseball cap. They are all nice and clean. Beautiful. Stains are gone. Nice and clean. Stains are gone. Nice and clean. Now, the reason down here I get those stains so much is because it is Florida. It is 90 to 100 degrees every day here in summertime. And uh, I do sweat. They do get dirty. And they do form that sweatband. But I clean them about twice a year. About every six months. I have a bunch of hats in rotation. Probably a good 15, 20 hats that I do over and over. I'll wear one, three, five for month, month and a half. And then I'll switch other ones. Back. So anyway, I want to show you this here. Let's see if I can set you up here really quick. I got a new mask. <laughs> that's my new mask that way I can go out in public and everybody can still see my beautiful face and not have to wonder what I look like underneath my mask so that's my new mask I can't wait to go out somewhere and put it on so anyway that's where we stand right now that is it guys I will talk to you later good afternoon everybody it is Sunday the 14th of March. I am doing my very first personalized handout of my merchandise to Mr. Brandon and Mr. Milo. Okay, go ahead, open. You're a little busy. <laughs> I wonder what this is. I totally didn't hear you just announce it earlier. <laughs> I say thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you. And like I said, guys, I have more of them. I haven't figured out a way how to get paid for them yet, but I know how to ship them. So once I get that done, if you're interested in a shirt, let me know. Just so I have an idea on uh, how many people want one. And then I will let you know as soon as I figure everything out on how to pay me so I can get them shipped out to you. Later, guys. afternoon guys it is a windy 87 degree day here in central Florida as you just seen I cut the tall weeds which pretty much was the only thing growing and then I gotta say something I always loved I love the smell of weed be gone in the afternoon killing those weeds 
that's the best stuff that I found for grasses down here, or especially for Bahia grass down here. The ortho weed be gone, which is that right there? That's the best stuff that I found. That I found. That stuff works fantastic. Um, I would like to do it in the fall and spring. The last couple years, I've only been doing it in the springtime, which is why after fall. I get all the weeds coming up so but that stuff works really good I'm glad I finally got all that done on to the next project good afternoon everybody well I'm not painting today because look how freaking windy it is out here it's unbelievable unbelievable Blowing hard. That's got to be a good probably 15, 20 mile per hour wind. Blowing straight right in at me. So I can't paint today. Kind of sucks. I wanted to get the other side of this door done. As you can see right here is where I fixed that hole. You can hardly even tell it's there. A little bit. If you look close. If you look close you can see it. But I wanted to get the other side of this door painted. And I wanted to touch up those bifold doors. Because I'm getting the new hinges today and everything. And my plan was to paint these today and get them up tomorrow. But obviously that's not happening. So we'll see what tomorrow brings. Later. What is up everybody? How are you doing? This is my mask. I have gone out to the store several times with this thing on. And I have made people laugh. I have gotten many comments on it. How they like the mask and everything. So I think that's really cool fit perfectly the skin tones a little bit off but you know what it's fine at least I'm making people laugh most of you can't take a joke anymore so at least I'm making people laugh some other way without offending anybody but anyway that was my week this week um, I did some painting I still haven't been able to do the other side of those doors because it has been super super windy the last this past week um, actually pretty much all year I don't know why I don't ever remember it being this windy today doesn't look too bad I might be able to get the other side of that door uh, painted so I can maybe put it up tomorrow which is uh, Saturday it's Friday right now um, I was hoping to have it up have them both back up here today but that's not happening so hopefully I can get them painted today once I go outside here and uh, once I'm done editing this video up and everything, once I go outside, I'll be able to see how windy it is, and then I will make a judgment call again. But anyway, that's about it. Did some painting, cut the grass for the first time this year for the season, or cut the weeds, actually, put weed be gone on it. So other than that, that's really not much else going on. Um, I have not dove into the project yet of cleaning out my pool patio drain. Because, <clears throat> number one, that is a big project. I have to cut the, cut the drain cover and uh, get in there with the pressure washer hose and everything. And when I have to do something like that that I got to essentially cut into and take a chunk out and, you know, destroy a little part of it, I think about it over and over and over. I watch videos. I think about it because I, there's been a lot of times, and I'm sure it's probably happened to some of you guys too, where you do a project you think you know how to do it halfway through it or when you get done with it, you say man i should have done this that way it would have been a whole lot easier so that's why i've learned that when i'm doing a big project like that to think about it run it through in my head over and over and over go out there look at it plan what i want to do and see if i can come up with any other way that might be a little bit easier so but i am going to dive into that because summer's coming up here we're going to be getting a lot of rain i want to make sure that drain is clean so i don't get the standing water on my patio like I have been which is what causes the mold that you guys have been seeing out on the patio because it uh, stands there for a while and since I got the gutters cleaned it's not going to overflow so I'm not going to have that much water so if I get those drain channels cleaned they should be good but anyway that's about it guys if you like the video give me a thumbs up like always hit the subscribe button down in the corner if you haven't subscribed yet and take care everybody i will see you next week later